how do you find the spark job which is struggling with out of memory issue and here is the catchy point where if you find the spark log you didn't find any error related to out of memory error or even the executor standard out executor standard error driver standard out gender standard out and memory matrix and spark ui everything looks normal and there is no issue with memory that's what these logs are portraying but your job is still failing with undefined exceptions that are related to out of memory issue indirectly so if you know that answer please add it into the comment section below let's see how many of you can answer it honestly hello hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope everyone are doing great i'm also doing great in this video we're going to discuss about the different forms of errors or exceptions that can indirectly or directly lead to out of memory issues i know this is one of the most fundamental concept that everyone would have gone through in their life uh, whenever you are trying to solve debugging the problem finding the root cause or maybe improve the performances so the same problem that i keep asking in my interviews to my candidates and most of the candidates were failed to answer this so in this video i'm going to reveal all of the points which can dire directly or indirectly related to out of memory issue the very first one is executor loss or contained killed messages if you see any of these errors in your log files which is indirectly related to out of memory error something like executor last container killed by yarn container killed due to memory limits or exit code 137 or 143 or something like a sick kill or maybe coarse grain errors right so these are all mostly related to executor loss this can give you this error because either your operating system or cluster manager can kill the executor due to its memory limits right you see this log so you can see something like log this one so if you find something like this this is related to out of memory the next thing is shuffle failed errors so if you see these kind of error messages in your log files or exceptions this can mostly related to out of memory error so shuffle file one whenever any shuffling is happen it has two things shuffle readers and shuffle writers shuffle writers and shuffle readers if there has any issue with the memory when it is trying to read the data or trying to write the data it can face this kind of an issue sometimes you would see even in the error logs that a particular block of memory or block of file was missed out in the shuffling process so in such cases these errors will occur so to solve this one you need to increase your memory and you can give it a try the third one is gc overhead limit exceeded so this is mostly directly related to out of memory error like if you see this one java heap space issue or too many gc pauses or maybe gc overhead limit exceeded this is directly related to memory issues and i hope everyone knows about it so why this will come so jvm will spend most of its time like mostly 90 to 95 percent of its time to clean up the heap clean up the gc heap or jvm is very less so in such cases what you need to do just increase the memory and rerun your job it can solve the problem the next thing is executor heartbeat timeout this is one of the most things and most of the people would have seen in their logs right heartbeat is very 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 common when you are working in the distributed system you see something like this executor heartbeat timeout or executor has been removed right so due to this so this is indirectly related to out of memory issue but before out of memory issues you need to try by increasing your network timeout and heartbeat timeouts so that can solve most of the problem if still that do not solve that might be related to out of memory error why the executor was stuck in gc due to high memory pressure and it cannot respond it during the time so if spark can wait for a certain time and it can remove from it so that's where the out of memory issues will kick in right like you see this these are the example log the next thing we can see this python worker memory errors something if you see something related to this python worker exited or something like a broken pipe or maybe end of file from python worker so this means that your python worker process killed by os or yarn or containers because whatever the memory that it required it do not have a sufficient memory that's the reason it was killed out or sometimes you would have observed that your program exited without any proper reason or even the exception that is abnormal exception so that is also might be related to out of memory error and the next one is serialization failures if you see something like this fail to allocate some memory or buffer overflow or maybe you know your size is exceeding the limits or something which is 
two large serialized files or something right so this is mostly related to serialization failures so the problem here also is the same it is trying to concatenate a large uh, data into the single object and it is trying to serialize that's where it faces insufficient memories so in such cases we need to increase the memory or maybe we need to tackle with that particular uh, data or data structure that you are trying to serialize it thing is spill warnings so most of the time spill warnings that you can find it in the spark ui or even you can see it in the logs file too so why spill can happen sufficient memory to store your block then it will try to spill up into the disk so if you see most of the spill very high spills that you can find it in the spark ui so that we can clearly say that it is out of memory issue but there are certain cases where even the low spills low data size spills also can lead to indirectly out of memory issues because your memory might be filled up with some cache or some other uh, data structures or maybe data okay so these continuous spills are you know lead to out of memory error the final thing is kubernetes or yarn something like a resource memory field something like a yarn if you see it out right exit uh, exit code 137 or 143 these are very very common codes right and maybe container was terminated due to exceeding the physical limit kernel capacity of some 20 zb but you are uh, you are requesting your executor might be more than 20 zb in such cases it can see the physical memory or even if you see the kubernetes it's just like direct or oem killed or killed in c group right so i hope you learned some new concept in this video please do like and uh, add a new comment below that what are the new things that you have learned in this video please do subscribe for more such interesting content thank you so much we'll meet in the next video